At the UK Champs with Nick Percy, a silver medal today in the discus, Nick, and you have the standard for the Olympics. You must feel you fulfilled the criteria for selection. Yes, I've done everything I think will be required to go to Paris and fingers crossed the call will come in the next few days and then we can actually enjoy these moments. It's a little bit annoyed now with the performance, but to still have done what they asked, I think it is, it will, it will kick in and settle in the next few hours. If and when that call comes, what will the, the overriding emotions be? I know it's been a sort of lifelong dream for you really to, to qualify for being an Olympian. Uh, I have no shame in saying I will be a blubbering mess crying uh, <laughs> when that does come in, but it is. It will just be. It will just be extreme joy. It's, this has just been such a long journey of big PBs when I was younger. A couple of years where we didn't really get it together, and it's taken time to build. And throwing events do take a long time to develop. And I'm just very fortunate that Scottish Athletics, spoke people have sponsored me in the past, and coaches and other athletes have just supported me. And even today, when I haven't been doing well, all the other athletes are still cheering me on, hoping, willing me on to do better, to even beat them. Uh, to still fulfill the criteria so it's just going to be just pure joy if I do get that call. Tell me if you can about the sacrifices that have been made because I know I mean you were on a ferry from Isle of Wight just to go to training and a, a two-hour journey back up to London and stuff two or three times a week yeah. uh, 15 years ago probably. Yeah as a junior it was training up in London three times a week and as you said two hours of driving uh, multiple <laughs> hours on a, in a car doing homework and getting back at like midnight and even now my coach living in Doha my coach former coach living in Sweden and just putting myself in the best situation I can and there are sacrifices with the travel lack of sleep um, like giving up sport other sports early but to fulfill this dream I think has been it is by far worth it this has been the dream since I've ever started it and the place I've gone back to work I actually still have from when I left a, uh, a drawing that we did on our leavers poster of me saying I want to be a professional athlete and compete in the Olympic Games and now working back there and now I can go back hopefully in a few days and say I'm going to be there it's yeah, it's a perfect full circle. I also recall you making multiple trips to Scotland as a mm. you know to, to compete under seventeen and under twenty, all the mm. throws the same weekend, and so on. But I mean, are you conscious of the that that wider support that you get from the Scottish athletics community? Oh, it's in, it's invaluable, and the support they've provided throughout all the years is what has helped build me to be where I am. The like the support to go and travel, to actually go to competitions, the physical help with the physiotherapists and with the Institute of Sport Scotland strength and conditioning, uh, education, things like that, it's, it is invaluable. And being able to go up to those competitions and actually, even though I don't sound it, but being born in Scotland, it's to be able to go up there, represent myself and actually represent um, how good the throwing community actually is in Scotland is amazing. And even after the Olympic Games this year, I'm still planning on coming up to the Scottish Champs and I still want to further that native record. I, I read something I didn't know about you quite recently. I think it was that your, your sister told you you had to be Scottish. Is that right? <laughs> so when I was younger and I had the choice, as my grandparents are Welsh, my parents being born in England and me being born in Scotland, I had the choice for the Commonwealth Youth Games of where I would want to compete. And when I asked my family, my parents said it was my decision. And yes, my sister did say, we're Scottish, you're Scottish. That's the end of discussion. So I was Scottish from there. <laughs> but it feels right to be Scottish. I was born there. It's been my nationality since birth so that was that was the right decision and so we went through the processes of making my nationality scottish on all the official paperwork and the rest of it's been history give it a big thank you from us i will thank you brogan thanks next thank you